Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley with me, Foxy No Tail, here on Foxy's Farm, going into day seven of summer with 1,800 gold in our pockets. Let's see what the world is going to bring us today. Now, we don't really have any particular plans at this particular moment in time, but it is a rainy day, which means we've got the whole day to ourselves. So I guess we should probably check the TV, find out what the weather's going to be like tomorrow, and then our luck as well. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment, and now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Of course it is. It's always a beautiful sunny day, apart from today. Fortune teller says that... Ooh. Ah, oh, yes, I can hear the wisp. Spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. So that's either fishing or mining day. Queen of Source has got a new recipe. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Source, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from a secret cookbook. This week's dish, baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. You learned how to cook baked fish. Amazing. This is good news. Let's give uh, Nelly a quick pet there. We are saving up, obviously, at the moment for a chicken coop, which is 4,000 gold. We haven't got 4,000 gold at the minute, which means we need to earn money. Now, we do have things growing. We've even got some produce ready here. We've got some uh, hot peppers, which is absolutely fantastic because I believe that was wild veg that we planted there. Maybe it wasn't. And we've got lots more things growing over here as well. However, wild veg and hot peppers are not going to give us loads and loads of money made. What we need to do is probably go fishing. However, I much prefer mining, but mining doesn't bring money in, but it's a good luck day, so maybe mining would be better. Oh, jeez. We need to start making some serious money, though. First of all, let's have a look at what sort of things we can craft. It'd probably be a good idea to get some more uh, preserve jars. I think they would be really handy. And when we've got our chicken coop, we're going to need a mayonnaise machine so that we can obviously make mayonnaise. But I would like to know, can we make a seed thingy yet? You can you can get machines that you put seeds in and they, they oh, put plants in. It turns them back into seeds. It doesn't look like we can make those. We can, though, make crab pots, but they're three iron bars. Jeez, have we got any iron bars? No, but we can start smelting down some iron, though. So that might not be a bad thing for us to do so that we can, uh, yeah, start getting on with those things. But three iron bars, geez, for one crab pot. I think it's worth it, though. It's passive income at the end of the day. Uh, what else can we make that might be useful to us? A bee house. That's only one iron bar. Maple syrup, though. We still don't have a maple tree. Now, we've got a bunch of trees growing. I believe this one may be maple. If it is, it's kind of in the wrong place. We need the seeds so that we can build our trees back over where our trees are supposed to be growing, which if we head down to the bottom of the farm is over here. And you can see the trees are starting to grow, which is nice. That one's not for whatever reason, but they are coming along very, very slowly. And I know we do have some tree taps over here as well, but they're just temporary ones for now until the other ones grow. So yeah, we could definitely do with some maple seed, uh, yeah, maple seeds, so that we can grow maple trees. That would be a really handy thing for us to get. But in terms of crafting, other than more preserved jars so we can get more jams on the go, there really isn't all that much that we uh, can be getting on with. That, um, yeah, we can't we can't do that until we've got a maple tree. So yeah, let's. what about food, though? Field snacks we could make. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Have we got maple seeds? Maybe I've been an idiot all the time. We do. We've got loads of them. We've got absolutely loads of them. So we, we're probably already growing maple trees then. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow another each one of these trees and then I'm going to make some field snacks out of those because field snacks, we're running out of salmon berries basically and we're going to need food runner on the road. Now I can't, I, I'm not 100% sure which way round these are. kind of don't want to get them the wrong way round but I don't think it really matters and we've put one, two, three in, in between each one. So one, two, three, we'll pop another one of those there. I really don't think it matters whether we got these the wrong way round or not. Having said that, that to me Looks like one of those. So let's at least get them to match up. Let's uh, let's dig that back up. And let's put the maple. It does look like we have got maple trees growing then. Which is good news. So we'll do the acorn there. Although they look more like pine trees. So now we'll do the acorn there. 
J's and we'll do the pine one in the middle. I think that looks more likely to be the way around we've got it. Now I would plant one here, but that's gonna get in the way of it growing, I believe. I don't really wanna do them too high up in the farms. So I think three rows of those for now will be fine. Let's go and see what field snacks we can make and uh, see if we can get ourselves some tasty dinner. Oh, and look, and that iron's done already. So we'll get one more iron on the go and we'll get a copper on the go as well. It'll keep nice and efficient the farm this morning. Let's get the copper going there. And that means we've got iron to be able to start making things with as well, which is absolutely great news. So let's grab our, I don't want to use them all. I'm going to keep as many as we can, but let's grab a whole bunch of those and see if we can make ourselves some field snacks. We can, 19 acorns. Oh no, that's how many we've got. That was just one of each. So we can make loads of those. Oh geez, okay, let's grab some more of those things then. Um, we'll keep just one of those for now. So we can make, we're gonna make five field snacks. That's not bad, not bad for a day going down the mines, I don't think. Let's uh, let's do that then. Craft me some field snacks, mate. Amazing, we've done that. We, I don't think we can craft any seeds of any type. Oh, hang on a minute. We could craft wild seeds. Wild horseradish, daffodils, leek, and dandelion. We've got all of those things. Oh, it's a crafting day. Hang on a minute. Wild horseradish, we've got loads of those. We've got loads of leeks. We've got loads of daffodils. Oh, it wasn't daffodils, it was dandelions, wasn't it? Well, we've got five dandelions. Let's make five packs of these then. So five of those, five of those. And was it five daffodils as well? Or was it five spring onions? I can't remember what it was. Hang on a moment. Let me check the recipe, mate. It was, oh, it was diff daffodils, okay. Wow, we got loads of daffodils. So we can make five packets of amazing new seeds. Oh, and I forgot we've got those other seeds in there that we need to plant as well. Look, we've got melon seeds. Loads of stuff that we can be planting. Oh, man, we got all this stuff. Well, we might as well get it planted today because it uh, it's a nice day. Oh, and we get... Whoa, we get... We get a lot for our money there. We got 50? 50 packs of... Oh, spring seeds. Spring seeds. We can't plant spring seeds in the... Uh, in the summer, though, I wouldn't have thought. Well, we'll keep those for next spring, then. I guess we're going to need summer things to make summer summer seed packets, but it doesn't look... Oh, spice berry, grape, and sweet pea. Spice berry, I'm pretty sure we've got those things. Um, geez, let's have a look in the chest rather than my inventory. Spice berry, um, yeah. Grapes, yeah, we've got two of those. And sweet pea, we've got two of those as well. So let's craft ourselves a bunch of those. Amazing, we got a new achievement as well. So 20 of those. So we got a lot of planting we can do. Let's grab that copper bar. Let's put that back in there. We're not going to need our hoe because it's, uh, sorry, our water bucket because it's a rainy day. And we're just going to go and plant a whole bunch of these things down here then, I guess. We are going to need our scythe to be able to get rid of a lot of that stuff that's growing around there. But that's great news. I wasn't expecting those things at all today. I was expecting to be down the mines pretty much. Uh, that's what I really like the mines. I don't know if you can tell. I really like going down the mines. We could do with a better weapon, though. But we don't want to waste any money at the moment while we're, um, <laughs> yeah, while we're saving up for our chicken coop. We really need that money quick. And I know it would be a lot more sensible thing for me to do would be to go fishing. But I, I'm just, I'm just not all that good at fishing. I'm just not all that good. And I don't, to be honest with you, really enjoy it all that much. So, ah, mm, it's tricky. We should definitely go fishing but we're probably not going to. Now, I'm not going to, these are just wild seeds. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna leave a space for a path down the side, but I'm not gonna spread these out so they're all like nice for sprinklers. We're just going to uh, just do it, oh geez, like this, and I think this will be absolutely fine. And uh, we're gonna obviously need some fertilizer as well, which means we might need sap. I don't know if we've got any sap, and there we go. That iron bar is done as well, which means we can spend that in a moment, but not right now. We're crafting other things. Hang on a moment, what do we need? We need fertilizer. We've got no sap at all, so we might need to chop down a couple of trees. We'll grab our axe out just in case. And I would like that little bit of cobblestone path there, even though it's not all of it. I'm just gonna mark that down where it's gonna be going. I'm gonna be having path coming down this side bit, just like that there. So we, yeah, we need to knock down some trees to get some tap, uh, sap then. Better not chop down the ones we're actually gonna be using, I guess that would be a bad idea to chop down the ones with the sap. And while we're walking around, might as well uh, grab a bit of that. Oh, I think our hay's full. I get the feeling our hay's full if I can't knock that down. This looks very much like it could be a maple tree as well here. I believe this is because it's got slightly different leaves to the other ones. 
So I'm just assuming it is. Not that it makes any difference when I'm chopping it down, but I just think that maybe that's how it works, possibly. Now, I don't want the wood. I want the sap more than anything, so I need to actually chop the trees down. That was a weird noise. Very strange noise. Oh, and it's already past lunchtime. It's a really good luck day, and we're doing nothing. We're just messing about on the farm. We can do this tomorrow, but I want to get the seeds planted today while it's, you know, I don't have to water them. So, uh, yeah, we've got enough to make a little bit more fertilizer there. Ah, so let's uh, let's grab as much fertilizer there as we can. Let's go and plant these seeds. Oh, that's not much fertilizer, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You know, we'll have another look, good luck day. It is a very good luck day, though. It's a very good luck day. Jeez. A little bit more. A little bit more sap. Come on. A little bit more, just so I can get enough to plant all these seeds. We just need 29 fertilizer. We've got 17. Can't be that much more. Just a bunch more trees. And then we'll spend pretty much the afternoon down the mines. Oh, the afternoon's already running away from us. Last tree. Come on. Give us all of the sap we need, mate. There we go. We've got loads and loads of stuff from that. Let's make a whole bunch more of that there. There we go. 22. 25. Oh, man. Four more. Really? What a waste of a good luck day. What a waste. I'm supposed to do days on the farm when it's when it's nice, nice sunny days, you know? But, uh, not to worry. It is what it is. It really doesn't matter. We can play this game however we want. 28? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You really got to be kidding me. Come on, mate. Chop it down faster. We nearly run out of energy as well. And now I can't get reach any of the stuff because all this stuff's in the way. Let me in to get the saplings. There we go. Not the saplings, the sap. Right, make that. Right. 30. That's just enough. Come on. We need to go and plant all of this stuff, mate. Before midnight. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have time to go down the mine. So I guess what we'll do then is we'll plant these and then we'll go and do a good bit of fishing instead. That's uh, probably at this point going to be a better use of our time, sadly. But, you know, it's probably the right thing to do, if we're being honest, isn't it? So is this, have we got enough space uh, to plant all of this stuff? Why can't I put it there? Oh, I thought it already had one. Okay. Have I done the right number there? No, I haven't. We need, need I think, just one more row. And that should be enough for 30 spaces altogether, maybe? We've got nine melon seeds. Come on. Get those planted, please. And then we've got 20 of these, which are summer seeds. Amazing. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff out of this then. Get those in there, that one in there. Very nice. All planted. That's absolutely wonderful. Let's put the rest of the stuff back away again. Jeez. Jeez. What a... I didn't expect to be doing any of these things today. We've got loads of wood, though. Oh, yeah, and we were going to craft some things, weren't we? So let's put those away for now, and let's have a look at what we were going to craft. We were going to craft some more preserved jars, which is wood, stone, and coal. There was something I needed that needed iron. Oh, I think it was the beehive, wasn't it? So wood, stone, and coal. Oh, we got a letter. I didn't even notice we got a letter. Wood, stone, coal. Let's craft ourselves a couple more preserved jars. We'll have two. I know it's a lot of stone and it's a lot of wood, but it's absolutely fine. We can afford it at the moment while we're saving up. So we'll go and plop those down. And we'll grab a couple more uh, items to go in those. I think we'll just keep doing the strawberry jam for now. Because it's, uh, well, we've got plenty of strawberries. Let's go and check what mail we've got before we do this. Oh, and I haven't checked the birthdays today. It could well be someone's birthday today. And I've got no idea. Uh, I could, I'd quite like a better place to put these, really. Can I put it there? No? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll just shove them up here for now. We'll just have a whole row of them up here. That's absolutely fine. I don't want to eat it. No, I want to put it in there, please. One, two. Very nice. What's the mail? Hey, I thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Uh, here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back of the room at Jojo Mart ages ago. All right, see you soon. Shane. Cheers, Shane, for a pepper peppers. Amazing. Pepper poppers, even. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Now, I'm going to uh, mm, have a quick drink of tea. Mm. And having a look at my birthday calendar that I've got on my other screen, it is not anyone's birthday today, but it is Gus's birthday tomorrow. Maybe he would like pepper poppers. I can <laughs> forward this uh, gift on to him instead of keeping it myself. But for now, I'm just going to pop it in there. And I'm going to grab my fishing rod and we're going to go fishing. Where is it? It's in one of these things here. There we go. Oh, I know what we wanted the iron for. We were going to make crab pots, weren't we? 
I am silly. Is that going to be all of my crab, uh, my iron then? Just on some crab pots? On one crab pot? Three iron bars and a bit of wood. Jeez. I think it's worth it, though. I definitely think it's worth it to get some crab pots on the go. Jeez, that was a lot of iron. There was no, are you sure? It would have been really nice to get a, are you really sure about this message then? But no. He's like, there you go then, mate. There's your iron. All right, let's, uh, let's pop this in here. I think you need to put bait in them as well. Now, I do have bait on my fishing rod, so I can take that off there. And I can put that into there like that. There we go. It's got bait in now. And we can check that every day and see if we have had any uh, anything growing in there, basically. So, yeah, let's go off and do a little bit of fishing. Jeez. Oh, and we haven't given the uh, the peppers. I was going to take them actually to Pierre's, but I guess we'll take those. Take, maybe take them tomorrow instead. I don't think it really matters too much. It's a bit of a waste of space in our inventory, but chances are we're just going to... Uh, we're not going to catch all that much anyway. And uh, if it does take me ages and ages fishing, if it is a slow go, then I'll do what I did like I did a couple of episodes again where I just cut through it and do a little bit of a montage of my catches. That way you're not having to sit through the boredom of me casting my line and just waiting for fish and then struggling to catch them. Jeez, that's the worst bit. It's the struggle. I believe fishing is uh, is good for... Good for um, oh, great. <laughs> I'm going to say rain is good for fishing. Clearly not. Clearly not at all. There we go. Got a hit. Oh, it's a wily one. No, oh, this is, this is a, oh, I'm going to say a bream. I think this is a bream. Is it? It's a, no, it's a shad, a shad. Okay, not a bream at all. I'm trying to guess the fish, you see. I'm starting to feel exhausted already. I guess I need a feel snack then. Probably be exhausted after this one. They're a bit of a tricky catch. Here we go, we've got another one. This is, this is a bream. Definitely a bream. It is a, a bream, I told you. Yes, guessed it correctly. Yes, we would like to eat a field snack, please. Like our hunger up. And I'll eat another one as well. Why not? 44 energy a go for, uh, for a bunch of wild flowers. That's absolutely amazing. Let's carry on fishing. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you throw it at the shore? Moron. We got a perfect! What is it? It's another bream. Of course it is. That's all I ever catch. Maybe if we fished in a different lake at a different time, we might get more things. We've got one with some treasure. What is it? It's another bream. And what treasure did we get if it's wood again? Oh, it's coal. Jeez, I don't know why I bothered trying to get the treasure chests. I thought it was supposed to be a good luck day. Where's my diamonds? Where's my mending books? You made a Minecraft joke? Yes. Whoa, we got a wiggly one. Jeez, very wiggly one. We're going to lose it. We've lost it. Jeez. Algae! Wow, the, another wiggly one. I really, I really struggle with these ones. They don't actually dart around all that much, but it's the slight movements that really throw me off because I'm not under a no, it's gone. Can I make any like spinners or catchy things yet to like to oh geez, I don't think I can. Maybe I could buy them from Willy. You know, the things that like the trappers or whatever they're called that make you uh basically make it easier to catch the fish. I think they make the green bar on your um on this bit a little bit bigger. Basically, that would be really helpful for me at the moment, I think. I mean, this fiberglass rod is nice. I don't know. It doesn't seem to make any difference, to be honest with you, from the old rod. But it would be nice to, um, yeah, get something that's going to help us out a little bit with fishing. I think we're getting there, though. We are slowly getting the hang of it. But it's not as fun as mining, mate. Mining's good fun. We've got another wily one. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I might as well just let it go. I'm going to be here all day otherwise. Oh, no, we're nearly there with it. Nearly there with it. Come on. Yes, we got it. What was that? A pike. Jeez. Pike, that was hard work. Algae. A bream. A perfect bream. No, that's another shad. Okay. Shads are nice and easy. We're getting exhausted again. We got another wiggly one. I'm going to assume it's maybe another pike. If you could learn the movements of them, I think that, that would really help. They do seem to have relatively specific movements for different fish. Jeez, no, we've lost that one. No chance. Oh, this one's wiggly, but it's not quite as wiggly as the other ones. What's this one? That is a... Oh, a chub. Okay, it's a new one on me. Oh, we've... Oh, dear. We, we, I didn't... Um, not been keeping up with my snacks, and I've got myself really tired. Let's, let's get as much energy up as we can. Oh, it's not made off. Oh, we're still exhausted, though, even, even though we're taking the field snacks. Oops. 
Oh dear, we've slightly overdone it on the fishing. Let's see if we can carry on though, even though we are feeling overtired. I don't know if we can. Well, we can. That's okay then. Oh, catching me out already, this fish. It's not even moving. There we go. We got a another chub. Okay. And we got a another pike. That was quite good for a pike. That was quite easy, that one. And more algae. Well, believe it or not, peeps, <laughs> I've just discovered something. I've been doing fishing wrong all this time. I've been hammering my click button in order to get the fishing bobber to the top. So let's do this again, right? So you put your, your, your cast, obviously. You wait for a bite. You click, and then it engages this. And then what you've got is you've got a system where the clicking makes the green bar go up. But what I've been doing is clicking like mad to try and get it to the top. You just have to hold it. Just hold click. If you hold click, it moves up. I didn't know. I didn't know you could hold it. Oh, Jesus changes fishing completely. I don't know if that means we're going to be any better at it. But look at that. Oh, look how smooth I was there. I got a perfect. Jeez. If only I'd known. I'd be wondering why it's so hard. <laughs> I've been doing it wrong because I'm a moron all this time. Oh, that makes life so much easier. Oh, man. That's a much better way of... Oh, that's a, oh look, another perfect. Oh, man, fishing's going to be so much easier for us now. Although it is getting very late, but we've caught a lot of fish today. An awful lot of fish. Oh, man, now I can do it. It's actually quite enjoyable. It's quite enjoyable. <laughs> it's got such a different feel to it. Right, well, I'm going to fish until just gone midnight, and then we're going to go home, I think. So uh, we're nearly there. Not too far away now. Probably two or three more fish, maybe, if we're lucky. Another perfect. Look at that. And that was another shad. And we got a record again then. This is good news. I can't believe that I didn't know. <laughs> can't believe I just figured it out. <laughs> right, okay. This is going to be a last fish. It's getting late. Come on, we'll get this. Oh, and don't forget, we're going to be going slow as well because we're, uh, yeah, we're really tired. Oh, dear. Oh, we've got one of these. Now, this, is this going to be any easier now that I kind of understand fishing a bit more probably not and it is oh no is, is is it paused is time paused while we capture the fish i believe it is that's good then that is good whoa no we're not gonna get it forget it then let's go home oh and we're not actually too slow that's good that's good well i think we did pretty well there we actually caught look at all the fish we've got we've got loads we've got loads of brains we've got an iridium shad we've got pike we've got more shads and chubs. Not many varieties, but we got a lot of fish. So I'm happy with that. That's actually really good. And I believe some of these are going to come in really useful for the community center as well. In fact, it, it seems like it's only the breams. Oh, and the hot peppers are there are as well. So uh, I think tomorrow we should make a beeline for the community center and go and check out what things we need to set, well, need to take there. One of the things is a copper ingot and an iron ingot, and I do realize we've just got rid of all of our iron ingots, but we will go down the mines in the morning, regardless of our, what luck we get, and uh, we'll probably get some more iron as well. We're going to go down as far as we can, all the way to the bottom, and before we go to bed tonight, I'm going to very, very quickly sort out all of our fishy things and, uh, and hopefully make some money. So we're going to keep one gold star bream, uh, in fact, we're going to keep two because we'll give one of those to the community center. We'll sell the silver star and the normal one. We'll sell the silver star chubs. We will sell one silver star pipe. We're going to keep the iridium shad. We'll sell the gold star. Oh, we've got loads of gold star ones. We'll sell all of those and we're going to keep those gold star things there. The glasses can obviously go in the recycle bin. The coal can go in there. The chilies, I have no idea why I'm carrying those around with me. I want to take those to Pierre's, really, but I think I'm just going to put them in the box, and that way at least we're going to wake up to a little bit of money in our pockets, and I do think that we are going to be feeling pretty tired in the morning when we wake up. But that's not the end of the world. Could be worse. Let's go to bed. It's late, mate. It's very late. Nelly, I can't get in the house. <laughs> I can't get in. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a real big problem. Um, this isn't good. Uh, Nelly, <laughs> I can't get in the house. Um, <laughs> what do I do here? Tell you what, let's put my fishing rod away. I've got an idea. I've got a little bit of time. If I walk off screen and walk back again, fingers crossed, she'll load in in a slightly different position. I don't know if that'll happen or not, but I really hope that's the case. Because otherwise we're going to not be sleeping. T oh no, Nelly, bib, bib, move move there's a plant in the way she can't move 
Oh dear, it looks like, looks like we're going to get caught out unable to sleep tonight, peeps. This is going to be the first time in this playthrough that we're not able to sleep. She's nearly moved out the way. Jeez, there we go. I've fallen asleep on the spot. That means I've got to pay. I've got to pay. Someone's going to have to find me and put me in bed. But we've leveled up on our fishing. We got one more fishing rod proficiency. And now we can make a recycling machine as well, which is something else I definitely, definitely want. As we go into day seven of summer, we've earned... We've earned over a thousand gold. We got a lot from those fish. That's really good news. Uh, and we got obviously a little bit from those hot peppers as well. So that's great news. That's good earnings towards our 4,000 gold goal for our thingy for the chickens. But sadly, I think it's going to have cost us a little bit. No, it didn't cost us any money. Falling asleep of your own home seems to be okay. Jeez, we oh, and we've got full energy as well somehow. I guess maybe that was to do with the fact that it's a good luck day. Okay, the weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5. What's the weather tomorrow? It's going to be clear and sunny, of course it is. And the uh, the fortune teller, our spirits are going to be... Oh, very display. Oh, really bad luck day to go down the mines. Great, they're going to do their best to make life difficult. Fantastic. Living off the land. I've clicked the wrong one. Hang on a minute. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another trivial. Let's talk corn. Well, it's an unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. That's right. While most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it both summer and fall. Now get out there and plant some corn. Maybe that's a good idea to plant lots of corn then. Maybe we should uh, do... Oh dear. Demetrius is here. Hi, Foxy. I have some good news for you. A, a few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up a cave to attract some local species. Local species, in fact. That way, I can observe them in a more controlled environment and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Which one would you prefer? Okay, now this is a tricky situation. The playthrough I watched, the guy went for bats and he gets a lot of basically fruit from it. Um, sometimes he gets winter fruit and springs fruit and summer fruit and that's really good for the community center and obviously making seed packets as well. I believe, though, mushrooms can also be very valuable, and maybe in cooking recipes as well. And I haven't seen cooked mushrooms, so I'm going to go mushrooms just because I haven't seen that. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Excellent. Thanks for letting me do this. You're very welcome. I didn't really get a choice. It was uh, mushrooms or bats, not no get off my land. So, um, right, it is uh, Gus's birthday. So we need some something to give Gus for his birthday. Gus likes food. Maybe, maybe we can take him something a little bit foodie. Have we got anything we can... We've got a little bit of copper we can put on to smelt while we do this as well. What can we take, Gus? Maybe... Oh, I don't want to give him a crab. I, I want to keep that. Actually, I need that for the community centre. We'll grab a bunch of stuff for the community centre and we'll head over that way as we head towards the mines as well. I, I don't want to give that away because I got it as a present, but it's pretty much probably one of the only things we can give away for Gus for his birthday. Maybe he would like a hot pepper. He's a chef after all. I think he would. I think he'd like a hot pepper. We'll give the hot pepper to Gus. Uh, then we also need one of those for the community center as well. So let's go through all of the things we need for the community center be, before we do anything else. So we, we need oh we need five gold star parsnips though. So we can't actually do that. Uh, we do need strawberries apparently. Oh no, spice uh, spice berry. We'll take a spice berry. Uh, we need a sweet pea. We need a cake of carrot. We don't need dandelions or daffodils. Don't need leeks or spring onions. We don't need wild horse radishes. We do need a hot pepper. We don't seem to need those at the moment. Okay, that's good. What about fish then? What do we need for the community tensor for fish? We don't seem to need any algae or that. Uh, we do need a bream. Okay. We, anything else? We need the crab. We don't need those things. We don't need any of those. No, the way I tell, by the way, is this little gold thing flashes when I when I know what I need. So, um, yeah, none of those. I know that we will open up more areas of the community centre and that will require us to take more things later on. But right now, it doesn't seem... Uh, well, well, right now we haven't got that open to us. So I don't, I don't know what those items are because I can only really take the items we've actually got uh, that would be, you know, able to take. Now, I think we need more than one hardwood, but I'll take it with us anyway. We need the wood as well. Well, we'll take all of the wood with us then. We'll probably have to come back before we go mining as well. 
Hmm. And what about in here? We got anything in here we need to take? Oh, I've got to do watering today as well, haven't I? Oh, geez, it's a watering day. Okay, we need an earth mineral. We need a frozen tear. We need quartz. Anything else from this box? We need slime. I believe we need 99 slime, though. So I, not much point in taking it. I think it's 10 bat wings. Oh, jeez, we're running out of space. Right, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do some very quick watering. Then we're going to go give Gus his birthday present. Then we're going to go to the community center, drop all of these things off. And then if we've got any time left in the day, we will, of course, go and go mining. Hello, Nelly. How are you doing? All right, thank you very much. Let's get these things watered. I'll be back with you in a minute when it's all nice and wet. Okay, the last row. And it's definitely a lot easier watering now that we've got the layout like this. I basically just move down a block, turn and do both sides. And it makes life a lot easier with this watering can that can do three rows at a time. There we go. That's all of the watering done. We'll go check the crab pot in a second as well. We might have got something from that. And uh, the tree taps as well don't appear to have got anything in right now. So that's absolutely fine. Not a problem at all. Uh, crab pots down here. And we got some driftwood. Great. Not really. Oh, yeah, we need uh, we need our bait, don't we, to put... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. no, mate. We could do with a, a nice path to get down there as well. It's pretty slow going getting down there. Let's go put this away. <laughs> get some bait. Put it in there. Go see Gus. Go to the... Oh, jeez. It's going to be a busy day. Can I, can I not open this chest? There we go. Thank you. Right. Let's... Uh... Oh, we need to grab our fishing rod to get bait, don't we? Our inventory is full already. <laughs> Our inventory is so full. Jeez, that means I won't... Why have I... I've got more... Jeez. No, I don't want the driftwood. I think I think that was loud and clear, mate. Right. <laughs> Back to the pond. Back to the pond to drop off the bait. Yeah, we definitely need a little path down this way to, uh, to get to the pond nice and easy because... Uh, that's actually really slow walking through that stuff, which is obviously valuable for time in this game. You don't want to be uh, slowed down. Just, oh, geez. No. <laughs> no. Well, I'll get the hang of this inventory one day. No. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. If I'm not accidentally selling back the things I've just bought, I'm now messing about with the bait and my fishing rod. Right. Let's put the fishing rod away. Go and see Gus and get over to the community center. Eventually, we will get there one day. Can't believe how long that jam's taking to make, though. Very long time. <gasps> Look at all of the wild produce. Many, many of it. Must have been raining, maybe. Must have been raining. So much. Eat the grape? No, I don't want to eat the grape. I want to collect more grapes, mate. No, I don't want to eat it. Oh, jeez. I just want to... No! Why would I want to eat it? I'm quite clearly trying to pick this up. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, jeez. I didn't put the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I didn't put the uh, the copper on to smell, which is why my inventory's full. Jeez. I am so useless. Absolutely 100% useless. <laughs> why, why do you watch me? Why do you watch my videos? I'm quite clearly incapable of doing anything, mate. Let's have a quick inventory sort of work. It's getting a little... It's a little messy. I'm not going to lie. It's a little messy. Okay, let's grab that one now. Now we can go and see Gus. Jeez, it's nearly lunchtime. It's nearly lunchtime. We've, been, we've spent ages. Spent ages doing nothing, as usual. Jeez. Right, <laughs> come on then. Down here a little bit. Hey, it's uh, Solid Snake. How are you doing, Snake? Snake. There's a little less pollen in the summer. My nose is really happy. Really? That's the opposite where I live. It's the opposite, mate. Saloon! Here he is. There's the man himself. Hey, Gus. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Now, here, it's your birthday today. So, I have brought you... Did I bring him? Oh, I was going to give him a nice hot pepper, wasn't I? I brought you a nice hot pepper. You're welcome. Oh, a birthday gift. Thank you. Good evening. Can I get you anything? It's not even... Oh, it's after... literally just turned afternoon. Really? You're good, You're good... You're good evening in me already? Did he... Uh, did that even... Did it... Did he like it? It was a normal gift. It was okay. It was a gold star one, Gus. Jeez. Picky. Picky much, mate. Right, community centre time. There's a lot of people about as well. It'd be nice to socialise. But unfortunately... Oh, we've got a, got a uh, thingy to do here as well. Help monsters. The monsters known as Dust Spirit are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I would like an adventurer to enter the mines and slay two of these fiends from Rasmodius the Wizard. We can do that. 
we can definitely do that i believe that's the the little uh, black bouncy up and down things that give you gold but we will do that we will go down the mines today if it kills me but first before we do that we of course are going to the community center to drop off all of the items that we have in our pockets or at least as many of those as we can i've got absolutely no idea which bundles it is we are dropping off for but we're going to do our best this one we have nothing for uh exotic one oh yes we can put our oak resin and our pine tart in there and also a cave carrot as well we only need two more for that one which is absolutely fantastic fall foraging bundle we can't because we got none of those see if we had the bats we'd be able to get those early we'd be able to tick that one off uh, wood jeez look we need 10 hardwood so we can't put that in there but we can put the other wood in there which means we do need to now save up a lot more wood for our chicken coop but at least that's nearly done okay so is that all of those that we've checked out on there it is we're doing all right oh and this one spice berry um you can have that one there and you can have that grape there and you can have that sweet pea there and we've completed a bundle amazing and this reward is bridge, bridge, bridge repair we got more summer seeds great another 30 summer seeds to be planted that's absolutely fantastic the more the merrier oh and that's just unlocked a new area as well i believe that is the vault the vault is, oh no it's the bulletin board has been open okay the bulletin board nice what else have we got here let's go into this room here this is the pantry and in the pantry we need five passes five melons and five corns all gold star ones as well we need to keep our eyes peeled for those when we grow in those. Uh, we need in this one, have we got anything? Oh, we can put jam in here. It's jelly. No, it's jam where I live, mate. Uh, I don't think we've got anything here that we can put in there right now, but we'll remember that one. Oh, the animal bundle, eggs, milk, goat's milk. Wow, oh, geez. No, that's going to be a long time. Fall crops. I haven't got any of those things yet either. And summer crops. We can put the hot pepper in there already. We don't have any melons yet. But yeah, we've got one thing ticked off that one. Good. Excellent. Let's go over to the fish tank and see what fishy things we can drop off here. Seems a bit fishy to me, mate, but uh, I'm sure we can do it. But catfish and a tiger trout we haven't got. Okay, that's fine. What about speciality fish? No, absolutely not. We haven't got any of those. <laughs> Ocean fish. We haven't got any of those. Crab pot bundle. We can put the crab in there. Amazing. Oh, that's the whole one done as well. well that's good news. What have we unlocked? What's our present? Oh, three more crab pots. Oh, that's amazing. Fantastic. Shouldn't have wasted all that money earlier. Not to worry. I don't think we've got anything can go in there. That's lake fish. Night fishing, we can put the bream in there. That's absolutely fantastic. We've got nothing else that can go in any of those, though. So that's the fish tank one done. And now it looks like we are unlocking the vault room as well, which is good news. This is going to give us a whole bunch more things that we're going to need to collect. Let's check the bulletin board uh maple syrup again in there so that shouldn't be too difficult once we've got those trees grown we've got the oh wheat and hay can go in there that shouldn't be too difficult at all oak resin we can do relatively soon the rest of those are going to be slightly more tricky uh mushrooms when we got our mushroom thing that should be uh, able to open that up and a frozen geode we can we can get that when we're down the mines i don't think we can we've got a chub right now though or maybe we have got a chub at the moment and again more oh we got a sea urchin we're going to be getting a sunflower very soon as well so a few of those we can start ticking off relatively soon as well. Going into the boiler room, we have a few things for this one, I believe. We've got the blacksmith's bundle. We've got one piece of copper. We just need an iron bar and a bit of gold. So we'll be able to tick that off by the end of the day. Although we, I don't know if we'll have time to do it today. We've got 10 bat wings. There you go. And solar essence, we don't have any of. And void essence, we don't have any of yet either. The geologist bundle. This is what these ones are for. And one piece of quartz. So we just need a bit of fire quartz. And that one's that one done. That one's that one done. So yeah, we're not a million miles away from those there then. So that's good news. So let's just check the vault quickly and see what's in there. It is getting very late to be going down the mines. But it's okay. It's fine. Jeez, you have to purchase it. You have to purchase it. Whoa. You, whoa. Okay. Reward bus repair. No. Mm -mm. I'm not spending 2,500 2, gold on unlocking that. I mean, I don't know what the reward would be. I'm sure it would be amazing, but no, it's I it can't. Afford, I'm saving up for a chicken coop. That is the main thing right now. To be honest with you, if I spent the rest of the day fishing, we may even be able to like get enough money to afford one tomorrow. But the mining is more important to me right now. I really want to go and do that. I'm tempted to go and plant these summer seeds though, but it, we don't need to plant them today. We got a long time left of summer. 
we might as well um, do what we need to do and then go mining. Yeah. Yeah. We, no, let's not waste any more time. Oh, speaking of jam, we've got one right here. So we can now uh, sell that to the uh, to the old peeps at the place. We're not going to, though. We're busy. We've got stuff to do today. We're not going to be selling any peeps to any places. Okay. What? Hey. I don't know, mate. Just rambling on at this point. Just making conversation so the video is not going all quiet and all that. Rambling on. Loaded old nonsense. We need food. We really need food. I haven't thought about this at all. Hmm. We can make a, another... Oh, the field snacks are dandelions as well, aren't they? Are the field snacks... Why do we always click the map? I don't want the map. Field snacks are... Oh, no, it's the, uh, it's the seeds, isn't it? Seeds. Okay. Jeez. We desperately need food. I mean, we could eat... Oh, we got some spring onions left. I forgot we had spring onions. Let's put those in there, then. Put those in there. And <laughs> Nelly's now messing about in the room for some reason. I think she's playing with the ball, which is slightly distracting while I'm trying to play this and record this video, but it's absolutely fine. Let's uh, grab our fishing... No, we're not going fishing, are we? Let's grab our sword... We don't need an axe down the mine. We don't need a sing shot. I think we've got everything we need there to go mining. Let's do this. Let's put the jam in the uh, in the thingy bin and let's go. Let's do this. Just organize that a little bit better. There we go. Straight to the mines. I have done the, the watering, haven't I? Yes. <laughs> 3 p.m. Not going to get an awful lot of mining done. but And <laughs> we've got a bad luck day as well, so it's not going to be fantastic. Maybe we should have... Uh, put our time into planting more of those crops and the crab pot things. But it's fine. It's fine. We need we need the iron. Ooh, wiggly worms. Hello. Bit of stone. Fantastic. Just what I wanted, wiggly worms. You're my best friend, giving me all that stone made. All one piece of stone. You're so kind. I would really like a new sword as well. I mean, this one's got plus two speed and four to eight damage, but I'm sure we can get a better one. But again... It involves spending money. And I have an allergy to spending money right now. I'm saving up. Right, here we go. We are on level 45. And we are going to basically just smash rocks in the hope that we can get down to the next level as quickly as possible. I would like to make it down to level 50 if possible. I believe the next reward will be level 60 rather than level 50. I think they go in, uh, in 20s rather than 10s. Well, that's absolutely fine. I'm not too fussed about the rewards, mainly fussed about iron. I can see from this level already there's not a great deal of iron kicking about. So getting down to the next level would be the priority here, which is going to be tricky with the um, yeah the spirits not being in our favour today. But we'll manage. We will manage. We'll get there. It'll be absolutely fine. Oh, we get sap from those guys. Sap we're really short of at the minute. Well, we need to knock down a lot of trees. Here we go. Straight down there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Look, we've got iron as well. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Two pieces. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's give that a, a whacking. Got a bit of coal there. Let's uh, see if we can get this slime fellow into a corner. No, we're pushing him totally the wrong way. It's fine. Don't do a big jump. There we go. Put you in the corner. Give him a good old thrashing, mate. There we go. Wow, we've been slimed. Definitely, definitely do. With some stairs. There we go. Oh, there was more iron there. But there's even more iron here. This is wonderful news. Lots of iron. Spirits, you're lying, mate. We got pretty good news. Look at that. Ten bits of iron there already. That's two ingots worth. Oh, look. We got amethyst. We got quartz. This is a good luck day. How could you say this was bad luck, um, spirity people? Got a nice box here. We can smash the bits. Get a bit of coal out of it. Anything else kicking about around here that we can uh, grab before we go down to the next level? Who knows? Who knows? Could find something. I can hear a bat. Great. Oh, and I forgot the bats can fly through walls as well. Of course they can. Makes perfect sense, mate. I guess he's kind of going round the wall. Maybe. There we go. Oh, got a couple of bat wings from that, though. Got both of his wings, mate. We'll show him. Get this slime right against the wall there. No, he's moved. Stop moving, cheeky slime. Bit more quartz. Not too bad at all. Oh, we are. Our energy is right down though. We, we do not want to get exhausted again. So let's munch down on a bunch of spring onions. Let's eat as many of these as we can. Let's hope it'll be uh, blackberry picking season soon so we can get 
some more forage and uh, yeah, real stock apart, free food supplies. This stuff, these spring onions and those salmon berries have really, really saved us so much over the last uh, over the last few episodes, just having to you know, we not spend money on food, basically, until we're sustainable ourselves. They've been a really, really good source. I wish I'd spent more time in the spring actually going to get the spring onions, because once I got the salmon berries, I kind of just gave up on them, really. Uh, didn't really consider them too much, but I, I really should have done. I really shouldn't have ignored them. I should have spent more time... Uh, looking for more fodder or forage or whatever the words are. There's so many words in this game that I'm not used to. I'm not a farmer, mate. I'm not a farmer. Especially not one from all the way over in America, mate. And you've got all weird words like fall and vacation. Jeez. What's a vacation? It's a holiday. What? what? Bat, would you be kind enough to give me some ladders, mate? I was just talking about how lucky we've been, considering it's a bad luck day. I want to get down to the next levels, but there's no ladders. It would be nice if you could give me some ladders, Mr. Bat. It'd be lovely. If I kill you over, over the land, there's more of a chance of it, maybe? No, no ladders. Low ladders. Jeez. Guess we're just going to have to keep smashing rocks until we find ladders. I mean, it's always good. Stone's very useful for us, particularly for... Uh, crafting but for the community projects as well and obviously when we're building things like coops and barns and silos stone comes in very handy we actually got some iron ore out of that rock there as well which is pretty nice but ladders ladders is what we're after it got us down two levels really quickly and now it's just been like nope you've gone far enough mate you don't need to go any more than that you're fine let me let's use all your energy mate jeez really i've got to eat again I'm always eating. I suppose we could get some cave carrots. We could use our hoe and actually dig some cave carrots out of the, uh, like the the sandy soft bits. But that's not really going to help us get down to the next level, is it? And I don't know how uh, how full like filling cave carrots are. I, well, they're probably better than spring onions at this rate. Spring onions are not all that great, really. And I don't think they're going to last us very long. We've only got 22 of them left. I don't think we're going to be eating spring onions for too much longer. We're going to probably have to discover a new type of food relatively swiftly. If we're going to, uh, yeah, not just starve to death every day, I guess. Or we'll just have to be really lazy. There we go. Finally, ladders. Jeez. Oh, and there's already ones there to the next level as well. That's good news. Just have a quick run round, see if there's any iron I can see. I can't. So I'm just going to go straight down to the next level then. Let's go straight down to level 49 and look at that. Oh, there's those little things that we've got to get for old, um, what's his face as well? This is good news. There's a lot of them though. Not quite so good news. But yeah, we just need to kill two of them. So once we've killed the other, those, two of those, there we go. We've done that for our uh, thingy. We can technically just get what we need and leave. But I think that could be easier said than done. There's a lot of things on this level that look like they want to eat me. Uh, let's run away. There's a bat over there. Oh, there's ladders as well. Straight down to the next level. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to get that frozen tear first, though. Straight down. And there we Oh, we did get a chest as well. We got tundra, tundra boots. <laughs> what are tundra boots? <laughs> Amazing. What do they do? The fuzzy linings keep your ankles so warm. Two defense and one immunity. Well, that's better than what we got. We'll, we'll put on the tundra boots. Why not? Absolutely fantastic. And we it's 11 p.m. We might as well uh, have a quick nosy down what's on the next level. You never know. Might grab ourselves a little bit more iron. There we go. Maybe take on another couple more of these uh, little thingies here. Make uh, old Rasmosius very happy. There we go. He did say we've been overrun with them. Might as well help out when we can. You know, that's what no-tails are for, helping people out. We got a lot of iron, 18 pieces of iron. That's If we can get... Like two more bits of iron. Oh, frozen geode as well. We needed that for the uh, community center. Yeah, if we get a couple more bits of iron, then or iron, uh, or oh, that's like four ingots, five ingots. No, four ingots. My math was right the first time, and we're exhausted though, and we're tired. So I guess we're going to have to come back for the ingots next time. It is, of course, bedtime. So let's leave the mine with all of those amazing things we got, which I'm really happy with, considering it was a bad luck day. It said the spirits were going to do everything they could to make life difficult for us, but I feel like we've actually done really well there. I'm over the moon with our progress today. We've not done anything relationship-wise, though. We haven't made any friends today. We gave Gus a present that he was okay with, but we've not gone and chatted with anybody. We've not really made any effort with the people. 
So maybe in the next episode, we should possibly concentrate on going into town a little bit, maybe popping by the saloon, say hello to people, maybe grab some presents, see if we can't do a little bit of gifting as well. Now, hopefully tonight, we'll actually be able to get in the house and go to bed. We couldn't last night because Nelly was in the way, but hopefully, fingers crossed this time, she will let us go to bed. Now, we're going to do a little bit of inventory management before we do go to bed, though. So we've got a few things to chuck in our chests here. And uh, one of those things, I've oh, got some mixed seeds there we can plant. Let's give that a bit of a shuffle so our seeds are together. Oh, we can plant our rice shoots as well now because they, uh, oh no, they need to be planted in the spring. So forget that, we can't plant those at all. Nelly, I can't play ball with you right now. I can't play ball with you right now. Go and put your ball away, mate. <laughs> I'm coming and dropping a ball on me. I'm, play, I'm, I'm playing Stardew Valley, mate. I'm sorry. I know it seems like a good good time to play ball, but it, it's really not, mate. Okay, we're going to put our old boots in there. I don't think any of those other things lives in there. The rest of it all goes away in here like that. Very nice. Let's give that a quick shuffle. And let's go back to bed. Oh, and Nelly is in a decent place today. Good night, everybody. How much money did we make today? 290. We sold a jar of jam. Jelly jam. Yes, that's what it said. And as we go into day nine of summer, we've not leveled up or anything. That's absolutely fine. We are going to be off to a great start. We only 800 gold away from being able to get the silo. But unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.